Matt's here with me now, Matt Porter from Matt Porter Web Design. He's at Innovation Martlesham on Adastral Park, and he's our tech guru and has in the past tried out a few of these electric cars for us, uh, various road tests. Morning, Matt. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on the programme. So um, electric charging points uh, should be in all English homes in uh, the future if the government get their way. Do you think it would encourage more people to go down this route, charging points on lampposts and various other locations? Yes, I think it would. Um, I think that many new builds now, um, having looked at uh, Google Google Earth and Google Maps, many new builds now have um, solar panels fitted to their roofs. So uh, with that in mind, if you have a charge point in your home, um, you are using renewable, some renewable, renewable energy to charge your car. If you have a um, battery storage, which is on the increase as well, same battery technology that's used in electric cars, they go in homes um, whilst you're at work. Um, your batteries are charging at home, and when you come home at night to charge your car or use your home, you're using battery storage to, to do that. So I can't see there being a, you know, I think it's a great thing, to be fair. Um, the charge points on um, lampposts, that's primarily aimed at people that might be uh, parking in town centres or if they own a flat. And the argument would be if they own a flat, they haven't got a charge point. So uh, I think it's great. I think it's a great thing. Having driven so many electric cars myself, I can see completely. I get it. You know mm. what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I think it's brilliant news. But a lot of people don't get it. A lot of us are um, just sticking to the, what we know, petrol and diesel, because we can all remember being encouraged to buy diesel cars not that long ago because they were the, the, the smart thing to buy. Yeah. And now all of a sudden we've been demonised if we drive a diesel. So, you know, who's to say that the same couldn't happen with electric cars? Being pushed in well, that direction would be the wrong thing. Well, I think if you look at someone like BP, who last week, I believe, bought Chargemaster, which is one of the largest charging network providers in the UK, that would give some indication about how the petrol companies or the fuel companies feel about um, electric cars. So if they're buying into the networks themselves, and their, their plans, I would assume, would be to put charging points on their forecourts and gradually replacing diesel or petrol eventually with with charge points so i think that we're kind of and the government of course have also told us that you know we've got to stop using uh, stop buying these diesel cars um in the next few years so i kind of i think we're on what really is a collision course you know we have no there's no there's no choice but to um, well here's one it. here's one that's uh, coming from tim he says um this is presuming that there will be a one-to-one -one replacement of petrol and diesel vehicles with electric vehicles. The smart money is on this not happening. Mobility as a service, calling an automated electric vehicle on demand via an app, will be cheaper and make more sense for most people. So we would, we would summon a vehicle via an app whenever we needed one. Well, of course, there's also that um, uh, industry which is a completely, uh, which is developing completely on its own, which is all, you know automated vehicles and, Sounds like Johnny um, and Cab, ride sharing. It? Pardon? Sounds like Johnny Cab from that Schwarzenegger movie. <laughs> well, uh, well, it is. And if you see some of the um, uh, the development vehicles, you think that they've got the idea from from um, uh, from that film. But uh, yeah, it's basically that that is a great way of, of um, going to work, where you're summoning a vehicle, it's taking you to work, you park the vehicle up or the vehicle parts itself, you get out, someone else so summons it and that vehicle's in use all day um, and you're, you know, obviously the running costs of a vehicle when it's shared between 20 or 30 people is going to be substantially lower and better for the environment. So yeah, there's millions of different things that can be... OK, well, it's a changing world. Technology is a changing thing every day. Uh, Matt, thank you. Good to talk to you. A lot of experience of driving those electric cars. As you heard there, he's converted. Are you?